I'm really sorry to insult you, but your iPhone is starting to look a little bit small, at least in comparison to these. This is the iPhone 6 with a 4.7 inch display, and this is the iPhone 6 Plus with a 5.5 inch display. Yes, these have got bigger screens, but there's lots more in them too, including new cameras and NFC chips to help you kill your wallet. Both the 6 and the 6 Plus have new Retina HD displays that display far more than you've been able to see on your iPhone 5 or 5S. Like a bigger Android phone, it's great for seeing more of web pages, and Apple's added a special landscape mode for the home screen with the 6 Plus. On both phones, you can move through web pages and emails with swipes on the side. But I really prefer the smaller version for my smaller hands. The 5.5 inch version looks like a small tablet. Look at it! Here it is! All right. Wow, that's really big. It is really big. Look at this comparison to my face. Comparison to old phone. All right, can we turn it on? Yes. Okay. Chris Voss here from the Chris Voss Show. The Chris Voss Show. .com. Hey, guess what? We've got the new gold iPhone 6 Plus. We're going to review it. And of course, we've been reviewing the iPhone 6 today at the AT&T store, so be sure to look at our other videos. Give us a subscribe and a like. Let's get into our review of the iPhone 6 Plus. One thing we wanted to mention on it is the battery that's in the iPhone 6 Plus is definitely nice. It's definitely wonderful to have that much larger battery. It just seems to last forever, and that makes all the difference. So, let's take a look at what we think. Okay, the first thing you're going to notice with the iPhone 6 Plus, and the iPhone 6 for that matter, is it's got these beveled edges, uh, basically taper off around the side, uh, giving it kind of a rounded, or completing the rounded effect that you get from front and back. It really gives a feeling of thinness to the phone that makes it feel thinner than it really is. But you will be surprised when you get the phone that it is incredibly thin, which makes it very nice and beautiful. Um, it's the first thing that will probably come to your mind and your eyes, you feel it. It's definitely not that heavy when it comes down to it. I'm just going to take it right out of the box. I just took off the ceiling and um, show you guys the back. This is the Space Gray 16 gigabyte version. Works perfectly fine. So first thing, we're, uh, first thing that we're going to do is uh, I have some keys here and we're just going to go ahead and really gently go across the front side of the screen the back and the sides and see what happens just in case your phone's in your pocket with your keys you know the, you know the basics so let me just go like this Again, I'm not feeling anything but we're gonna do this anyways and I can't see anything so on to the back I'll zoom this in a little bit Okay, wow. So the back, if you actually look really closely, this is unlike the iPhone, um, unlike the iPhone 5S. I'm seeing a lot of faint marks, and I don't know if they're just temporary or they will uh, be there forever, but it's very noticeable. You guys can see everywhere here. Oh, it looks like it is. It is coming off, so no big deal. Let's see on the sides. Go like this. Okay, so keys, iPhone passed the test. Works perfectly fine. No issues, no cracks, nothing. Just a little bit, just some dirt on the back. Okay, next up, we have this guy. So I'm going to start off just going like this, like I'm just chopping some pieces of, I don't know, tomatoes. Okay, let's take a look. You can see this is definitely permanent now. Let's try the front screen. 